everywhere today. Good morning. Good morning. It's Main Street Nashville and we are so excited that Main Street today brings you a trip to the Nashville Zoo, one of my favorite places on earth. It's the opening of a brand new, brand new exhibit and we always go to, when there's something new at the zoo, it's our feature. What's new at the zoo with Jim Bartu. Hi Jim. <laughs> How are you? I'm just fantastic and there's something new at the zoo and you got a friend there behind you. Yeah, can you hear that growling? I can. They're, they're, uh, I'm gonna. I may need some help getting out of here. This you is might. Dino Track. Uh, it's back. Uh, we had it last year, but it's back. It's bigger than ever. Standing behind me is a brachiosaur, standing more than 23 feet high. It's the last uh, dinosaur you'll see as you cross over this bridge over my shoulder uh, on your way out of the exhibit. But there's more than 20, 22, in fact. Uh, dinosaurs that you can see along this trail. Uh, it's um, it's here at the zoo. It's running all day that we run general admission. So we encourage people to come on out, bring your eight-year-old boys who you know are going to go nuts over this stuff. Oh my and gosh! Come on out. And your eight-year-old girls too. I'm going to tell yeah, you. Absolutely. They're the little ones. I keep seeing on Instagram these little girls who are like not afraid of snakes. They're picking up snakes and and all the spiders and all this stuff and I watched that at the zoo. It was so wild. I saw these little girls walking around with their, their brothers and stuff, you know. So everybody is into dinosaurs. Yes, they are. Yeah, the girls in particular are really into it. We're seeing we're seeing a lot of that. Saw a lot of it last year. And I got to tell you, it just melts my heart to see people really engage with the snakes and the lizards and the things that you find under rocks. It's There's so many amazing creatures uh, on this planet and dinosaurs certainly are well no longer on the planet very impressive animals to come and see these guys are all full-size animals they're animatronic so they move they roar they hiss some of them even spit at you so be careful as you're walking through oh my gosh that's so exciting do you have a triceratops we do have a triceratops one that you can actually get your picture made with it's kind of um laying down it's a baby triceratops oh. so you can see that while you're out there and of course t-rex a lot of the favorites that we had last year are back this year but we also have a lot of new animals that you can come and see any any i, I keep hearing what i think is a velociraptor oh yeah we it wouldn't be complete without something hunting you down on the trail <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now, is this an extra ticket to the Nashville Zoo membership? It is, yeah. Um, if you're a member, you can come any day you like um, It's to, 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 uh, to come into the zoo. The Dino Trek exhibit is an extra $4 per person to come in and travel through the exhibit. Um, but uh, members um, are welcome to come on through. They're going to enjoy it just as much as non-members. I mean, you can't even go to McDonald's for a hamburger for $4. So, I mean, my gosh, look at all that entertainment that you've got. That is fantastic. And it opens tomorrow and it's tomorrow. The day. Yes, it opens tomorrow and it's going to be open all the way through July 30th. So make your plans to visit the zoo um, before July 30th, before these guys go extinct. Oh, I love that. Do you have to make a, do you have to make reservations? Do you have to get tickets in advance to see Dino Trek? You don't. You can get them while you're here, so you can pick them up right at the ticket booth as you come into the zoo, or if you're a member, we'll also have a booth out here that you can buy them at right outside the entrance to Dino Track. Oh, that's great. Well, it's new at the zoo with Jim Bartu. Thank you, my friend, for being Thank part you. of my show. Take sure, yeah. Care. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Doesn't that look exciting? That's exactly what it looks like. You can be up close and personal. All you folks who homeschool your kids, your grandkids, your nieces, your nephews, 
that is a homeschool credit experience. I'm just going to tell you. And it's like bringing science alive right there at the Nashville Zoo. Well, we've had what's new at the zoo with Jim Bar too. And now what to do in Nashville with Tracy Hits and the Hits List. How are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. You look fantastic. Where are you going today? Oh, I don't know. Nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a, I'm just, I just, this is just how I look. It's yeah, just how I, I look. Up this way. Yeah, I wake up this way. <laughs> <laughs> It is a big weekend. The time changes. So I want everybody to remember that on Sunday, the time changes. Yes. So an extra hour of fun. Yeah. Right? Thank, thank yeah. you, Lord. Yes. It stays light longer. Yeah. So I can move my <laughs> dinner time from three in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> we, but actually no, we spring forward. So you lose the hour. Yeah, but but it okay. stays light longer. Yes, yes, that is good. I like it. <laughs> uh, that's well, that's so, the way yeah. I, I roll. I love it that way too. <laughs> yeah, and I'm glad it happens on Sunday because you know otherwise it gets confusing on the weekend, uh, like Friday, Saturday. So true. So what's happening this weekend, girlfriend? Well, you know it is Women's History Month, so there's some some great uh, female things going on um, in Nashville. With one, starting off with one of my favorites, Margot Price is at the Ryman tonight. <sighs> <laughs> so well, good well, so good yes and then there's also some uh, male artists performing as well I guess but um Tommy Prine uh which is John Prine's son is actually doing a little residency at the basement his first week was last week he's there again tonight um, and then I think he's there for the rest of March on Thursdays so that'll be a good one at the basement and then Sam Hunt is at uh the Ryman tomorrow um, I haven't seen him um, in a while, so I'm kind of excited for that, especially in the Ryman. And then Saturday, you've got, so my so-called band is one of my favorite cover bands anyway, but they're doing it, um, a Women of the 90s um, for, um, again, for that Women's uh, History Month. So that'll be on Saturday at the Basement East. Um, and But before that, again, we, we talk about Backstage Nashville a, quite a bit. But I really do like to point it out because it's awesome. But yeah. I do like to point it out when like someone I really, really love is there. Not that I don't love everyone, but Dan Smalley is there. Dan Smalley is there. And speaking of women, Matresa Berg is there on this show this weekend. Oh, my lordy. Oh, my lordy. I'm so excited. This, this show this Saturday... And I will say that if you want tickets to that, I hope you have them already. It does sell out every single week, but it's easier to get into. I'm just going to say it. It's way easier to get into than the Bluebird. Because the Bluebird has 75 seats. We have 250, 300, depending upon uh, weight staff and areas and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. And like I said, the third Lindsley is just awesome in general. And, but at your show, they listen. So it sounds like the bluebird in there. So yeah. when you have that many people, it's still the just as cool as like sitting in a small room. Everyone's still listening, yeah. which is what I love. I do too. I do too. Backstage Nashville.net to get those tickets. Love it. Love it. Um, and then Saturday night at the Franklin theater, they've got um, 1971, the greatest year in music. And oh. so they're just going to sing songs from 1971, which I found fascinating. Um, I so love that. I so <laughs> love that. Yeah. And on the next day on Sunday, speaking of matinees, Celtic Rhythms on Fire, uh, March 12th at 2 p.m. They've got a matinee uh, at oh, it's it's the Williamson County uh, Performing Arts Center. Wow. That's Look at you. Movie. Bam, right in there. Uh <laughs> I, well, I, I mean, I'm so excited about that because it kicks off, kicks off, get it? It kicks off uh St. Patrick's Day. Ooh, okay. St. That's Patrick's perfect. Day week is packed. We've got the 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 Irish Fest, Music City Irish Fest. We've got the parade on next Saturday at uh five points. So yes. Yeah, next week's gonna be bananas too. Because this weekend looks a little bit kind of more normal. Um, mm -hmm. but still way better than any other city that's got stuff going on. Um, Sunday, you've got Elvis and Costello at Brooklyn Bowl. Yeah. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. Elvis Costello. I don't know why I said and um, at Brooklyn Bowl, which is that venue is really, really cool. If you haven't been to Brooklyn Bowl, it's very cool. Now, and, and here's something special for many years. Elvis Costello would not play Nashville uh -huh. because people didn't go to live music. It was Nashville was a hard ticket and a lot of artists. And he was one of the main ones. He went on record saying, I will not play Nashville because nobody shows up at shows and it's hard to get people out and I'm not going. Oh, wow. So That's he's really going to be cool. here at Brooklyn Bowl. How about at that? Brooklyn Bowl. 
yeah, such a good thing. And I just realized why I said Elvis and Costello because I was thinking Abbott and Costello. And Costello. And mm-hmm. You probably knew yeah. where my brain was. I um, knew right where you were because who's <laughs> on first? Yes. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that's a good thing that you know what I'm thinking. But <laughs> um, Monday, you've got Diplo at the Wild Horse Saloon. So I don't know if you oh. haven't been to an actual show at the Wild Horse. Like, the Wild Horse is cool any day of the, of the week. But uh, to have Diplo there at Wild Horse mm-hmm. is going to be awesome. And then just throughout the whole weekend, the SEC men's basketball tournament has started. So that's downtown. So it's going to be packed with all of their fans and a lot of fun stuff going on. Holy moly. And tonight, something very cool is happening at the Capitol Theater. Uh, we've got Coal Miner's Daughter, a special showing of the movie event at the Capitol Theater tonight. And it's only $5. Mm. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? If only $5, awesome. you can go to a theater experience with Coal Miner's Daughter and kind of talk about a throwback Thursday. That's what it's all about. <laughs> that is perfect. I love it. Well, you keep us posted on all the good stuff, all the good stuff. And you're also into sports. So we're going to close with saying, first of all, if you are an artist and you're in town and you need to get your brand on, you go to hitsandbranding.com. It's Tracy's company. She helps a lot of new artists get their footing in this town and gets their whole brand set up. And the hitslist.com, in case you didn't get something that we talked about, you can find out anything there is to do by going to that website and she's got it all set up because that's how you are. <laughs> I do. I like to be thorough. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Well, I'm going to close with, we have a special promotion going on with the Nashville Predators and I thought I would share a little bit about that. Thanks, Tracy. Bye. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Stephanie Miller from Mornings on Main Street. Join us March 23rd at Bridgestone Arena with the Nashville Predators for Main Street Media Night. I know Devin O'Day will be here. You know I will be, Stephanie. Plus, you can register for a Predators prize pack. They were going to call it the Hockey Hoot Nanny, but they changed. So it's going to have four tickets and food vouchers. you got to register to win. We're looking forward to seeing all of our Main Street Sports Today fans, right, Chris? Absolutely, we are, and we could not do this without, of course, our owner, Dave Gould, and our friends here at Smashville. Speaking of, where where is Dave? Dave? We will see you March 23rd for Main Street Media Night. Let's go, friends! Do I have the wrong night? According to the Justice Department, nearly half of all violent crimes in the United States is committed by a perfect stranger. Nashville, Tennessee, country music capital of the world. Each year, millions of fans flock to the city to see and hear their favorite performers. The music business also attracts a host of aspiring stars looking for a foothold in the music world. Sammy Sadler survived the brutal attack despite a bullet that severed a major artery in his arm. Kevin Hughes was shot three times. Two of the bullets entered the back of his head. He was dead when police arrived at the scene. Country music singer Sammy Sadler is blown the lid off a single that brought down an important industry magazine and shined a light on the darker side of the Nashville music scene. And he's finally sharing his story in the mystery thriller, A Hit with the Bullet. And Sammy's actually here with us today to tell us a little bit more about his book release. Why was Kevin murdered? Who was responsible? How did this story rock the music industry? Find out the true story of the eyes of the sole survivor, Sammy Sadler, of what became known as the infamous murder on Music Row. In the new book, A Hit with a Bullet, author Sammy Sadler gives us an insight to the underbelly of the Nashville music world, a story of corruption, greed, and murder on Music Row. uh, People are rediscovering this whole story all over again, and you're also, you're getting introduced to new people that are mesmerized by the story we're about to talk about for a few minutes. It's been a long journey, Robbie. It has been. It's been a long journey, brother. And we are going to get to... Uh, Sammy, March 9th and, and all that stuff yeah. of 1989. An incredible country music singer, songwriter, entertainer, and also author, Sammy Sadler. Sammy, thanks for coming on the show. Eric, thank you for having me, man. I'm uh, uh, humbled to be here with you. This- well, I think they will, but also they've enjoyed your book that came out in 2019, uh, Murder on Music Row, which I think, you know, 
It needs to be a, a movie or a documentary. I mean, something. My book is called A Hit With a Bullet, The Real Murder on Music Row. And mm -hmm. uh, you can get it off my website. Uh, I, I've got it where a lot of people were buying it, uh, but they wanted an autograph. So I've got it now to where you can go to my website at sammysadler.com and I'll autograph a copy for you if you order it from my website. That way, you know, you're going to get uh, my true signature and I'm going to personally uh, sign it to you. So. We're so glad you're with us. It was 1989. Rising country star Sammy Sadler was shot coming out of an office on Music Row. It nearly cost Sadler his life and it derailed his career for sure, but the comeback is happening. He's got a new book out and a new album. Sammy Sadler, we're so glad you're here. Thank you, uh, uh, We're so glad you're here and we're so glad you are here. Yes. Thank you so much for coming out. Sammy Sadler. A name already known worldwide is a survivor who is determined to make his mark on his own merits. Hey guys, it's Sammy Sadler. I've got a new book called A Hit With a Bullet, The Real Murder on Music Row that I lived and survived. It's true, it's my life, it's my story. I hope you'll get your copy. No need to worry What good does it do Darling, turn out the light And tell me that you love me too Everything is gonna be alright I can see the future shining bright Just when things get tight It's no time to lose heart Everything is gonna be alright Sammy Sadler, on this date in history, 34 years ago, the murder on Music Row took place. A very somber time, a very difficult time. But the show that features more information about that story and a little bit more of in-depth interviews is on tonight, Court TV, on Someone They Knew by Tamron Hall. And the new video for his new single, Everything's Gonna Be All Right out today. So sammysadler.com for more information. You can find that. And we're going to join uh, a young lady right now who's going to get to fill us in on all things going on. Let's see Miss Emily Portman. How are you doing, Emily? I'm doing are you fantastic. Here? How are you today? I'm, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can, I can. Well, fill us in, uh, you know, fill us in on what you are talking about today. Well, I'm just here to tell you about Always Loretta. It's a new show that I'm happy to be part of. And we are doing our Nashville Day at the Troubadour Theater. And I'm just really glad to be with you today to tell you about it. So. It is Throwback Thursday, and the best way to throw back, now tonight is, it's very special, like, um, Coal Miner's Daughter is at the Capitol Theater in Lebanon, and you are always Loretta at the Troubadour Theater. When does the show start, and where can people get tickets to this? The show starts at 7 o'clock. You can get tickets at always Loretta tickets at gmail.com. You can email that and get directly direct access to tickets. Um, there's not a whole lot left at this point. I'm, I'm not sure how many they have left, but there wasn't a whole lot, but I'm hoping to see as many people there as we can get to uh, be there for the Nashville debut. I know there's going to be some family members of Loretta's there as well. As some of the, so I'm really excited about getting to see those people. Too, so Emily, the I've coal miners are also going to be oh. performing. Yeah, really? That's so wonderful. That is so. Yeah, I didn't cool. quite hear your question. I as I, I just did real. I I was so shocked yeah, whenever so you said the coal coming. miners are going to be there. That's a wonderful. Yeah, it's it's not. Yeah, there's been many coal miners through the years, but what makes this extra? special is two of the very original coal miners will be performing 
along with me on uh, March 21st. It's a Tuesday night. You can get tickets at alwayslorettatickets at gmail.com. So we have Dave Thornhill, who first played with Loretta Lynn in 19... Let me think. I'm thinking it was 1967. And also Bob Hempker, who plays steel guitar. So they've traveled many, many miles with Loretta and played thousands of shows. And it's just an honor to get to work with these guys and make it as the real thing as we can. So um, I love to sing like Loretta and play the part of her. And over the years, I've received many opportunities to get to do that. But I think this is probably one of the most fulfilling and exciting things I've got to do so emily what drew you to the life and the music of loretta lynn well what drew me to it was the rawness and the truth just the truth and the the real life stuff you know the lyrics of her mm -hmm. songs and the lifestyle that she had the life she had um, as a child growing up in Butcher Holler in one of the poorest places in the country uh, in Eastern Kentucky and the love that they had despite the poverty. Um, it seems like when you look at Loretta Lynn's life and you think about what she came from and yet how proud she was and continued to be throughout her career and her life, even though it evolved and got so wonderful as far as what she made of her life coming from the conditions that she began in. It's just such an example for everyone to know about her and know her as a person, not just an entertainer or a songwriter, but just as a person and, and, what a hero she's been to me. And it's just like, I just want to tell the world, whoever didn't know, you know, which most people do, but didn't know about Loretta Lynn. Well, let me tell you about her because she is my hero. So Emily, did you write it. this show? Did you create this show? I did not create the show. Um, I've performed as Loretta through the years in mm -hmm. different venues around the nation. Um, mostly around the Kentucky area from I got to play in a Loretta in a, a musical about Conway Twitty's life about 15 years ago. And wow. of course they couldn't Conway story without Loretta. So I was um, honored to be part of that production. Um, but because of YouTube, the internet and stuff like that, Dave Thornhill and I were able to connect. He, he got in touch with me and said, wow, I, I can't believe how you sound like Loretta in the way you sing. And he said, can you call me? So I, I called him and him and I uh, touched the base about a year ago. And since then we've kept in touch and we played about four shows so far and they've all been sold out. And um, so we've just got some new management with this always Loretta show, which is basically some of Loretta's best songs with the coal miners band performing. And so I get to dress in the gowns and have the hair and sing the songs and tell the stories just like Loretta did. So it's a great tribute uh, to our lady of country music. And I'm just glad to be part of it. So March 21st, the Troubadour theater and the parking is free and there's, there's good food around there too. And so the, the, the cool thing is the Troubadour, they've really turned it into something extra special. And I mean, I think it's really cool that that was Ernest Tubbs place. It was the, uh, the Texas Troubadour theater, you know, yeah. and, and Loretta awesome and movie. Ernest had a great thing together. Oh, yeah, they did. They really did. And the, the atmosphere is just awesome. I just loved it. We went in there a few weeks ago and checked it out. And it was just awesome. I could live there. <laughs> it really is. I, I'm telling you, I don't like change. I hate change. And so when I said they, when I heard that they had changed the, the troubadour, I went, they can't do that. Well, I went in and it is fantastic. I 
It was wonderful. And so if you have not been to the new Troubadour, you go in and see it, especially on March 21st. And again, that email address, you email for tickets, always Loretta tickets at gmail.com. Yes, Emily, I thank can't you wait to see you guys. And thank you so much. You have a great day. Thank you so much, Emily. You take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. She is fantastic. And if you see the pictures on the posters of her, she transforms right into Loretta. It is so cool. Well, it is Throwback Thursday, and there are new artists that have encompassed an old traditional sound. This young lady, I want to feature something new from her. Her name is Sarah Duguay. She performs a lot with Jim Lauderdale. It's Sarah, S-A-R-A, -A, Sarah, Sarah Duguay, D-O-U-G-A. She's from Louisiana, but she's lived here in Nashville for quite some time. Here's a little snippet of something new from Sarah Duguay. love her sound. It's kind of a throwback sound for our Throwback Thursday. And if you want to find out more about her, Sarah Duguay, D-O-U-G-A. Not Duga, it's Duguay. That's how she says it. And so follow her. She is in Nashville. If you get a chance to see her, may, maybe performing on stage with Mr. Jim Lauderdale, or maybe uh, she's just doing her own show. She's always fantastic. I want to do a quick check in with, oh my gosh, a lot of people watching today. Steve Bernie is with us. Hey, Steve and Mona. What's new at the zoo? Yes. Jim Sartain, fabulous songwriter from uh, the Smoking Hit Songwriters. I got to meet him there. And Shelly, can't wait to take my boy. See Dino Trek. <laughs> I love Jim. So funny. Dino Mite. That's right. That is right. Uh, Elizabeth joins us. I know you like all that stuff, Loretta, like I do. She just bought a very cool painting of Loretta done by Ray Stevenson down at Third and Lindsley. Nancy is with us today. Good morning, Nancy. How are you? And um, Elizabeth was talking about a hit with a bullet, the Sammy Sadler story. You can actually also get it on audiobook. That's out right now, too. So if you don't like uh, have time to, to read physically, you can also get the audiobook. It's available on audible.com. My friend Cam Cornelius, he used sound effects and music all the way through it. It's really, really good. It's like listening to a movie. It's really, really cool. And I knew you would know about Emily. Emily does an amazing show with uh, Loretta, always Loretta. The Troubadour is great. It's a great venue. Michelle joins us. Hello, sunshine. I love that. And uh, you guys, I'm telling you, it is so good to have you here every day. Uh, our daily giggle, we don't have time for it today, but I will tell you, it's brought to us every day by our friends at 50 Forward. You can go to 50forward.org or do what they're asking us to do is be a part of the Nash National Institute of Health research study. They need a million people to give their health information so that we can get a better picture of what's going on in the United States as far as our health goes. And you can do that by going to joinallofus.org slash 50 forward. Spell it all out. Joinallofus.org slash 50 forward. You guys have a great rest of your day. Be safe, be kind, and remember, most of all, you are loved. We are home. We are family. We are things to do and place to see. Mom pops, both grown, small. Street, Main Street, we are your Main Street today.